Hallelujah. Yes. Please be seated. No, you will be to dance today. The essence of this day, actually, is support that. We give all the glory. Please listen to the announcement. This is Christ's divine faith ministry where we build a dependable Christian family of the Lord and the most quick, consistent way through Christ-like virtues. Our church services hold from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. every Sunday, except for the communion and Thanksgiving Sundays, when it is extended till 10 a.m. Our communion service is the first Sunday of every month, while our Thanksgiving service is the last Sunday of the month. Our Bible study service is the second and third <coughs> Sundays of the month, while our midweek service, which is called Moments with the Lord, comes up every Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Our vigil is the last Friday of the month from 11 p.m. Now, Daddy says it is the best time to take back what the devil has stolen from you. Please, can we together recite our memory verse for the month? It's in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 14. Jeremiah 17, verse 14. I know we have committed that to the memory, but in case you have not, you can open it, I'll give you that chance. Jeremiah 17, verse 14, even though it's called the memory verse. <laughs> Amen. One, two. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my faith. Once again. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. Again. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my grace. It's very simple. So it's really a memory, my very brief. These are additional announcements. Our Saturdays, we are still old. We still we still old. Uh, tomorrow. Not tomorrow. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow's prayer, uh, the session is you know skipped because of what we're having today and what we're gonna have on Sunday. But normally our Saturday prayers will except for tomorrow. So, and uh, we pray that at any time we come around, the blessing of the Lord will be upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. We also want to remind us that we should please keep up with the COVID protocol, even though we know that generally across the country, that has been played down, but let us still be in that mood. We wash our hands while we come in before writing down the name uh, in the register. We also want to appreciate your welfare and contribution to the church, and we pray that the good Lord will always replenish your pockets as you do so and more in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you as you worship with us at Christ my Faith Ministry. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. The Lord is good. We are blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to sing. Uh, English in when I hear far away stood at the old drugger's cross.
verse 6. And the chief priest took the silver pieces and said, It is not lawful for to put them into the treasury, because it is the price of blood. And they took counsel and brought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Therefore, that, that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value, verse 10, and gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord appointed me. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Are thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto them, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witnessed witness against thee? And he answered him to never again, never a word, in so much that the governor marveled greatly. 15. Now at, at that feast, the governor was put to release unto the people a prisoner, whom they would, and they had them a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas or Jesus, which is called Christ? For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. <coughs> when he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife said unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. Verse 20. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and <coughs> destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether on the throne which will ye that I release unto you, they said Barabbas. Pilate said unto them, What shall I do then? When which with Jesus, which is called Christ, they all say unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil had he done? But they asked, they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Verse 25. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and, and on our children. Then released he Barabbas unto them, and when he has scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the shoulders, the shoulders of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole, and the whole band of soldiers and they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had plated a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and read in his right hand. And they bowed, they bowed the mirror before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, hey, King of the Jews. And they spit upon him, and took the ring, and smote him on the head. And after that, they had, they had mocked him. They took the rope off from, from him, and put his own raiment on him, and led him away to crucify him. 32. And as they came out, they found a man of Simon, Simon by name, in the compelled to bear his cause. And when they were come unto a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of his call. They gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall. And when he had tasted therefore, thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him, and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my virtue did they cast lots. And sitting down, they washed in them, and set up over his head is accusation written. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Verse 38. Then were there are two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and the other another on the left. And they that passed 
by revived him, wedging their heads, and said, Thou that destroyed the temple, and buildest it in three days, say thyself, If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise, also the chief priest, uh, the chief priest mocking him with the scribes and elders said, He said others, himself he cannot see. If he be the king of Israel, let him come down from the cross. And when we believe him, and we will believe him, he trusted in God, let him deliver him now. If he will have him, for he said, I am the son of God. The thieves also, which were crucified with him, cast the same in his face. Now, from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land unto the ninth hour. Verse 46. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there, when they heard that, said, This man called for Elias, and straightway one of them ran, and took a sponge, and filled it with vinegar, and put it on the reed, and gave him to drink. The rest said, Let be, let us see whether Elias will come to save him. Jesus, when he had cried again, with that voice, he dead of the coast. Verse 51. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain, from the top to the bottom. And the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city and appeared unto men. Now when the centurion and they that were with him, watching Jesus, saw the earthquake, and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly this man, this was the Son of God. And many women were there, beholding a off, which followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering unto him, among which was Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's children. Verse 57, When the evening was come, there came a rich man of Aramathia, named Joseph, and also himself was Jesus, Jesus, Jesus' disciples. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in the rock, and he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulchre and departed. Verse 61, the last verse. And there was Mary Magdalene and the other Mary sitting over against the sepulchre. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. We are going to sing from Yoruba in book. In three hundred and ninety, three ninety, we follow me for more quality to live in the law order. Three hundred and ninety.
Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. The Lord is good. Happy Good Friday. There will be no service, no prayer service uh, tomorrow. So we are going to, after service, we will go to prayer. Praying later. Hallelujah. So shall we bow our heads for prayers? Spirit of the living God, we thank you for the benefits of this day for all mankind. And for sacrificing yourself so that we can receive salvation. Lord, we thank you for loving us more than life itself. Father, life is hard <clears throat> and uncertain. So much pain, hurt, and heartache seems to be surrounding us. And yet, knowing this, you still willingly gave up your life and became God with us to rescue us. Because of your sacrifice, Lord, we stand a chance to spend eternity with you. There is no pain you cannot conquer, no hurt you cannot heal, and no fire, no life you cannot uh, transform. Hallelujah. Baba, your death and resurrection prove that nothing is impossible for you and that we are more than conquerors because of you. Today and every day, help us to fix our hearts and our minds on you. Amen. And as we do, please give us more of your joy. Amen. Give us hope. Amen. Give us peace. Amen. We love you, Lord, and we want to worship you. Lord, as we are going to your world right now, we pray that we shine your light through these letters. Amen. Give us understanding. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the city. Today is Good Friday, also known as Holy Friday. It is a Friday immediately preceding Easter Sunday. It is celebrated traditionally as the day on which Jesus was crucified. From the scripture that was read this morning, we find a detailed narrative of what happened this day over 2,000 years ago. It started with the meeting of the Sanhedrin. We had the resolve in that meeting to put Jesus to death. Then they went to how Judas had himself for betraying his master. Then moved to Jesus, Jesus' trial before Pilate, to how the crowd chose Barabbas, a robber, instead of Jesus Christ. The outcome of which made Pilate to deliver Jesus to be crucified. He was mocked by the journey crowd. He was crucified and it ended with the death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see that that, that video was long. It summarized everything that happened on that day. Now it was recorded in the scripture that all these events happened on the Friday. We know that what was done to Jesus was cruel. And should Christians then remember Jesus' death 
by celebrating a sad day and also call it a Good Friday. What is good in losing a dear one in such a gruesome way of killing? That gruesome manner of killing. Now, as we continue our countdown to Easter Resurrection, that is this Sunday, this Holy Week, I hope your faith is being stirred up to believe and receive all God has in store for you during this supernatural season of miracles. Do you know that, that the miracle happens? Immediately his blood touched the ground. What happened? There was nothing. There was shaking. There was even grace of the dead. Lenny, I do know about this. Yes. 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 Today, I will discuss the seven exchanges Christ made with his people, not all of them, but those who are able to humble themselves at the foot of Calvary. Those who believe in his cause. Amen, somebody. Amen. Not many Christians will go to church today. But the Sunday, they have to have them on Sunday. But before I go into that, I want to make the significance of this day clearer to you. Kini Jay Kong, Tafim, celebrating Good Friday. It's a very good Friday. Praise the Lord. Good Friday, that is also known as Holy Friday. Like I said earlier, is the Friday preceding the Easter Sunday. And it is celebrated traditionally as the day on which Jesus was what? Crucified. Now, assuming that Jesus was crucified and died on a Friday, should Christians remember Jesus' death as by celebrating Good Friday, is our gathering here today instructed by the Bible? Try the Bible question. No. Can't find no. I will prove it to you. What in the Bible? The Bible does not instruct Christians to remember Christ's death by honoring a certain day. The Bible, though, does give us freedom in these matters. However, Romans chapter 14, verse 5. Read from your Bible. Romans 14, verse 5. I want you to read from either NIV or the good English. I want you to understand. Romans 14, 5. Yes. Okay, it tells us that, I'm reading from NIV here. One man considers one day more sacred than another. Another man considers every day a lie. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. Is that in your Bible? That is in Bible. Now, yes? Something one day is. More holy than you see, some think one day is more holy than the other. Yes. While others think every day is alive. Well, to others, that point you have to think of. You don't, you don't, no difference. Yes. You should each be fully convinced that whichever day you choose is acceptable. That is it. Something that Christians should observe the Jewish holidays. You see, something that the Christians should observe the Jewish. For the, what transition is that one? Uh, the living Bible, yes. Jewish holidays are special days to worship God. Okay. But others say it is 
is wrong. It is wrong. I'll finish. To all that wrong. For every day alike belongs to God. What are? On questions of this kind, everyone must decide for himself. You can decide for yourself. If you want to say this day as a good Friday, and the family does not say, you should do it. But you are free to act. It's just like, so people don't celebrate bad days, you know. And if you celebrate, what is wrong? You choose that day, you don't want to be in the you can do or not. It's your day. Are you following me? Now, rather than remembering Christ Day on a certain day, once a year, what the Bible instructs is to remember Christ's death by observing the Holy Communion. That's an instruction given us. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 24 to 26. He said, And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. That one is commanded. After the same manner also, he took the cup. When they are saw, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink in it, in remembrance of me. That is a commandment. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do, uh, you do show the Lord's death till come. Now, back to the question. Why is Good Friday regarded as good. What the Jewish and Roman authorities did to Jesus was definitely not good. See Matthew chapter 26 to 27. There are two, those two chapters. Eh? It contains the account of what really led to the question of our law. So the back I repeat because you can do that on Jesus because it's very there are two chapters. I don't want you to but I don't want to bother you. Really. However, the results of Christ's death are very good. You understand? The end results very, very good. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Says God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Beautiful. Isn't that good? Yes. Very good. First Peter chapter 3, verse 18. It tells us that for Christ died for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous. To bring you to God, he was put to death in the body, but made alive by the Spirit. What is it good that it brought you to God? Yes. Was it this day good? Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. So, many Christian churches celebrate Good Friday with a subdued service, usually in the evening, in which Christ's death is remembered with solemn hymns, prayer, or uh, thanksgiving. A message centered on Christ's suffering, for our sins, and observance of the Lord's Supper. Even Thursday, some churches hold it, like they have their communion on Thursday. Some do it today. Depends. So, whether or not Christians choose to celebrate Good Friday, the events of that day should be ever on our minds because. The death of Christ on the cross is the paramount event of the Christian faith. It is Good Friday because we benefited immensely by his death. Redemption is lost. 
Praise the Lord, somebody. This morning, I will discuss the seven exchanges that Christ made with his people who humbled himself at the foot of the Calvary. Exchange number one that this day brought to us, that make it good, is that uh, our sinfulness are exchanged for his righteousness. Our Christian parents choose the wrong tree. You know, Christian means to be completely clean. That is number one. P R I S T I N E. You understand what I mean? Yeah. It means completely clean. So, our completely clean parents, first parents, let me put it that way, Adam and Eve, they believed the oldest lie in the Bible, and that is, we shall be like God. Who told you can be like God? Do not feel really. it. But they believed that lie. The devil sold this to them and bam or catch it. This and go. Yeah. Now, prior to that day, man and God were one. They were in very close communion, close relationship. One, party party. <laughs> Adam fellowship freely with his father in the pristine brilliance of paradise. That is, completely clean. Before the fall, Adam and Eve are completely clean. That is why they have access to If you can do that today too, God will open it to for you. Praise the Lord. Because the price has already been paid. What you are doing today is just to enact, to enact what happened that day, to keep our memory fresh. History, that's what you are doing. That's what you are doing. History, I say, praise the Lord. Then, right there, in the middle of paradise, Adam sided with God's great arch enemy. And in that very moment, a great creeping sickness entered his soul. Only sin could possibly have been so strong and mighty, so dark and drastic as to have driven a wedge between a timeless God and a temporal man. From the womb, we suffer under its congenital effects. It separates our hearts from his heart. That's in you. It causes us to go left when we know we should go right. That is why all of us that are born to this world by a woman has this Adamic sin hanging on us. We must mention Abiyasi. That is why until you get baptized, that sin is not you. Adamic sin. That is why you don't need to tell children to tell lies. Remember, I'm here for children whose parents love them very much. When the loved parent or the father to my love of you by seeing the woman behave, then when the elder in the house has rebuked them for the wrong they did, when Baba now comes, I can feel soon by them. <laughs> 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 Adam makes him. He read the table. 
on, on the new money. <laughs> Amen. So, it makes us accept the counterfeit as real and reject the real as counterfeit. It comes us to our own destruction. Look at Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. Put me. There are two, two. Okay, Proverbs 14, verse 12, and Proverbs 16, verse 12. They are saying the same thing. Only, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Because any bad thing from anybody does, we do have a which to that name. Like, okay, I can predict without going in, in, into my spirit that the synergy is all about my technical, he had no be. First of all, oh, Nichelle, that girl, who took back by the NJ, can go mad me, you are sort of, <laughs> you know? You have no right to connect my Now, those that are going to look after those children, who is going to take care of four children? To look, because we are about what to Michel Akba, the Roman, he all of the and don't power all of the queen. That is why, if this girl has left, on time. Yeah, my Jerry. Oh, my Jerry. You don't know who parried midweek, who parried Shadow Long, put my Jerry or who for you. You know, that job. God has given her an assignment and she stopped it. You be just like that, Samson. You know, that will be you. To ban she for court, your co ban more feel it. You know what happened? Envy. No, 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 no. When your husband begins to envy you, you have job, I don't have job. You are flying, you are shining, you are not shining. 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 You are not That is why I try as much as possible to, make, to live by example. And I thank God, I've been married for 42 years. I have never one day raised my hand against my wife. I will have my only, 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 you don't beat, you don't kick a woman. You don't do it. All right, I'm going to answer that question. Praise the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pass a call and make you. No, marriage is for life. Who told me that? She told me to say it too. Oh, yes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because they change. All day they change. A lazy man can never change. He will envy you to death. To what they put on my mind, I saw that we could settle it. To what they put on my mind. 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 No way. To what they put on my mind. God has put her children into serious problems. What she might not put on. I'm going to teach her to take over. Because. She served the church. Come on, woman, listen. She served the church. <laughs> because kakako ku ku awon omo e ko lo toju nko e. Lo kuku n sise o lowo lowo. Owo e gan lo ko e fi nje un na. Ko ni se lapa ko lo wo ko le so sun fisi. Owo e lo no na ko so appreciate. Leave it. As you pale ti, leave it. Ko ti e gba won ti e lo e no. E pe te do ko lu if I you don't appreciate me, but you call on me when you love me. Some idiotic man. You know, Jesus treated them as worse than infidels. Isn't what the Bible says? 
only a man that cannot feed his family is worse. Oh, then you can live and eat them. So much you are worse than an infidel. Oh, no, oh, to lie, Joe. Oh, to lose, oh, to lose. Why not to get it? Oh, no, to get it. 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 Oh, no, Unfortunately, yes, sir. Life, you know, because it, I just I can't imagine. school graduate for eight years. Yeah, no for you The mother is scared. My lord, 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 Lens, Moya, and those children are my children. What if I do look well? I'm not your mom anymore. You met somebody because it is scientifically proven that your great great grandchildren are your children. Your gene is in their body, so you can't depend me from seeing my children because you are one idiotic man. Moya, no more. Can you find me a phone? No more. Me a phone. It's not a dash. <laughs> but when we approach the cross, we find an offer waiting. We are a perfectly righteous man, one whose blood has even been infected by Adam's contagious, infectious disease of alienation from God. And even me, one of me was fed church, that's the church by day by It's just like that school, but come out and also I draw the paper and I just study. It will not do no kind of thing as a week. I can't come out and go nowhere. Can you imagine? What you want to do, Jenny? I'll give one money. I'm not a girl of bad rap. Cut it small down on fast now, and I will open my body house. So it is a, a guided rule. Yes. I'd rather want to be in the toilet <laughs> than to attend money mass. Who has more than a woman? What do you share? I don't know. You know, this infectious disease of alienating from God, hands willing to make an exchange with us, is hanging there. Give me your sinfulness, Jesus says. I will give you my righteousness. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. For he has made him to be seen for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. <laughs> Exchange number two, our shame for his glory. Our shame for his glory. Genesis chapter 3, verses 9 and 10. Genesis 3, 9 and 10. Our shame for his glory. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Who told me that you are naked? In those days, before Ojunila, I told you about the Lord Jesus. Men, women can be naked. They don't. They are not ashamed of their nakedness. Shall we come and worship? And they coexist together. Yeah. Even there are some tribes, so in the Amazon jungle there, they don't wear clothes. Up to yes, up to there, they don't wear clothes, and they are not ashamed. 
So it manifests in the first couple's fear, stroke, uh, so shrinking from the presence of God. They shrink from his presence. What sadly what you The sound of his footfalls had only the previous day filled with hearts of joy. Their hearts were filled with joy. Now, his footsteps filled them with dread. That is what happens when you fall out of favor from somebody who loves you. Conscience. Their father God had not changed. But they had. Sin had made them change. Can you hear that only? I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. What's up, Amon? We know this same well. Is that sense of uncleanness we feel when we sin? When we violate God's immutable law, you feel ashamed. It results in damage to ourselves or others. But there is another type of shame many of us are far, far too familiar with. That humiliating sense of defilement and worthlessness that we sense when others use or abuse us. We felt ashamed. The very history of the human race since the fall is little more than these two forms of shame dancing across the ravaged souls of men and women. Abusing and being abused. Defiling and being defiled. Sort of hurting people. Even other that song can, can speak, put shame into your life. Just it's the spoken word. So feeling like that. Uh -huh. They will defy you to today when you are in your body. That won't turn me. Amen. Take it in. Now, because of his death for you and I, on that dreadful day, on that old rugged cross, in one of the most astonishing of exchanges ever proposed. We are invited to trade our shame for his glory. It is therefore no wonder that the book of Revelation reveals Jesus' enthronement in that world, declaring, Behold, I make all things new. Exchange number three. Now, the Bible says, Then I saw a for his blessing. Our cares for his blessing. Praise the Lord. The law, the code of God's immutable principles, character, and precepts woven into the very fabric of the universe is not and never was a cause. It was the violation of that law that unleashed a curse upon creation. 
humanity was created to live in blessing. God had delegated dominion authority to man. You see that in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. So, when man now forfeited that delegated dominion, to a deceiving usurper, he set free a cause upon the earth in place of that blessing. People share them. Sickness, poverty, jealousy, rage, decay, and even death permitted a once perfect system. But that stands me to God. Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law, being made a cause for us. For it is written, cause is everyone that hangeth on the day. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Exchange number 4. Our brokenness for his healing. Jesus once told the desperate father seeking healing for his child, Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Only if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. That was Jesus' uh, answer to you. I will see you. Let's go to the back door. That man walked away hand in hand with a son who was whole and free. In the same way, though. It's been years past. Many of us are not exercising that faith nowadays. We still carry the body, the shame on our body that even when healing is pronounced on you, you don't catch it, you don't receive the healing because you are still doubting the ability of the yeah, of the pastor to bring healing. Pastor they may heal here. Yeah. All of them are healed. Yeah. Pastor just prayed. I don't have the anointing, but he has it. When he sees your heart ready to receive, then you get it. But oh, by that, you are going to remain like that from now. That is why we hammer on faith, 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 faith all the time. Exchange number five. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his side. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Exchange number five. Our poverty for his abundance. The Apostle Paul wrote in Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 7. Can somebody read from the New Living Translation or any other translation? Philippians 2, verses 5 to 7. Philippians chapter 2, verses 5, 6, and 7. Yes. New, New Living. What did he say? You must have the same attitude that Jesus Christ has. You see, have the same attitude that Jesus Christ has. Though he was God, though he was God, he did not think of equality with God. You as see, something to cling to. Exactly, could he be great deal. Though he was God, yes. Instead, instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave. Ah, okay, you know when you go to a place now, and the car is filled up, and your children, you came with them, and uh, you have a good car that you brought. And what is working because you have to carry somebody who is equally important. Eh? Now, who? 
Nous nous les manier qu'on voit les coups en Rwanda. Is it the owner of the car or any of his children or the maid or the driver or who? But Jesus Christ let me do it. Or no go go only and the owner. My father is in that person. Or Or Zimbo. Jesus left off for you and I. Oh, we is there. He took the humble position of You see, he took the humble, he will know let go. I was told that in a house, the occupants of the house, they don't sit on the chair. See, we need to the joko. I was told, me, is this I You see, can you put your slave, your mother, on the high table? Keep on looking for hero. If they are down the Jalina. Jesus Christ did it. When he appeared in human form. When he appeared in human form. He humbled himself in obedience to God. He humbled himself in obedience. And he belagged his power. He belagged. Hey, she just can't be Jesus. Why are you that arrogant? And died a criminal's death. And then he died a criminal's death. Lie, she. Lie, you. Never has a man been so utterly destitute as Jesus was on that hill in those final moments. He became poor in every way a person can be poor. He had no possessions, no comforts, no defenders, and no friends, save John the Beloved. On my papa, only one. And you're complaining. Why? So that destitute paupers like you and I could become living heirs of the King of Glory. Oh, who can they? Can they? Can they get? I like your book. I like your book. I like your book. I like your book. Who hears? Look at 2 Corinthians 8, verse 9. Only for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that he through his poverty might be rich. Exodus number 6. Our rejection for his acceptance. Who among us doesn't bear the invisible wounds and scars of being rejected by others? Sadiwa, you have to feel rejected. You must be scared of it. What is it? Self and sin. But that's why the synergy. She's a graduate, you know. Oh, oh, she's a graduate. She was a graduate. What a far higher sin than for that. So the marriage. You can say she's drunk. Kill me. I don't know, sorry. If you get him on the school, or call around, or call, I need to go to school, or call, say, what are you on the school? What are you on the school? I'm not going to find you. To buy any money, but if you want, please, that love. To buy any money. You can tell me that when my wife decided to have a separate account, but you don't have to do it. This is your sign that they come in. He was on the other side. He was on the other side. 
Oh, le fait beau, le 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 beau, Taking my wife with me, with me, with little lady, because I won't feel complete. I won't feel complete because part of me is not there. I can't be free. I can't be free. She has to be around. She's me. Two bodies becoming one. That is what the Bible says. That is why God said the marriage bed should not be should be undefined. I will feel more calm. The film. There was an argument between two brothers. Well, they are not married yet, so brother and girlfriend. And the girl was the had an altercation, and uh, the two of them had to be separated. You, but later the junior sister of the man persuaded her brother to go back to his girlfriend, and. Uh, after he has convinced his brother to go back, she now went to the girlfriend's house to let her know that I've spoken to my brother, you can your love life can still continue because my brother loves you a lot. You know what? She found went to the girl there. But you know she was very free. When she got there, she found the girl in pants. And one young man with two heads just as they were just coming down. And she invited back. Sorry, and she just left. You know, she didn't tell her brother. But she was looking at the girl. She was conscious. Oh. It was she the boyfriend wanting to have that girl continually. Uh, my know to this uh, you know, that uh, girlfriend uh, that just one night was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> Did he sleep with you? Um, um, uh, I was drunk. Uh, back out of my house. Right now. You see what unrestrained emotion can cause? Not even me, a pastor. That is why I don't look after other women's, other men's wives. Because I cherish and I know how to have a fear if you touch my own. If you say God. God forgive me. Weakness in me. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. And the mother, who was said, and the good, and who shall. I've been talking about my young wife. He shall she, Arago, no Jojo, or Ben Daddy, or a woman, or Cushing Mora. So before you go into marriage, please be careful. Check very well that I can spend the rest of my life with you. No strain, you know. Not even mistake. Because it's a real papa, man. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. It shouldn't. Amen. 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 And that's the magic. That's in number six. Our rejection for his acceptance. Who among us? Hey, that is the that is what I wrote there. Bear the invisible wounds and scars of being rejected by others. That is what I wrote there. Now let me expect expansions. I said, Who among us bear the invisible wounds and scars of being rejected by others? When you get rejected, 
In self-defense, we learn early to reject others before we have the opportunity to be rejected by them. Self-defense. When Isaiah got a prophetic glimpse of the crucified king on that cruel cross, this is what he saw, Isaiah 53, verse 3. He said, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Jesus Christ is the stone which the builders rejected. Speaking of himself in the third person, Jesus told his disciples, you know, Luke 17, verse 25, he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. Because he prophesied, he too said it by himself, that he will be rejected by this generation. So, why was rejection by men and isolation from God a key part of our Lord's experience on this thing? No really unbelievable. It is because he was our substitute. Are you following me? He suffered our deep rejection so that we can now enjoy God's acceptance. It is so we can come to God. It is so we can be accepted by him. At any time we call on him, he will answer us. Not as a revenue servant, but as welcome sons and daughters. Look at the first chapter 2, verse 13. Let me read from the American Center of the But now, in Christ Jesus, you who formerly were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. <coughs> Our doorway home is shaped through the cross. Exit number seven. Our death for Islam. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13. Only for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So our own death now was a sin. For his life. Hope your life will be left. Can you leave with key? And you remove dead sentence while you're in. And you will go. Death's reign began on planet Earth on the day Adam fell. That rule continued unchallenged and uninterrupted until death forfeits its right to dominion by taking one. It had a legal right to take. For the moment, Jesus, few of them come. You just don't even buy the allot to two asile. The blood of Calvary's crucified Lamb not only makes us spiritually alive and is victory over Satan, He removes the sting of physical death. As the writer of Hebrews explains, Hebrews chapter two, verses forty to fifteen. Only in as much then as the children have partaking of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is, the devil, verse 15, and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. So, in Christ's sacrifice and triumphant resurrection that we celebrate this holy week, <coughs> along with every exchange and provision he made for us along the way. It is because of his great mercy that we can come to him for life. It's why the Holy Spirit challenges us in this time to fast, to pray, and to honor the Lord. I'm going to round up by quickly considering the last seven words on the cross. The first word that Lord Jesus spoke on the cross will be found in Luke chapter 23, verse 34. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. So, if ignorance 
does not excuse a crime, it at least diminishes the atrocity of it. However, these people well knew that they were crucifying an innocent man. But they did not know that. They have forgotten that this act of theirs were bringing down on themselves and on their country the heaviest judgments of God. So, in the prayer, Father, forgive them. That word of prophecy was fulfilled. He made intercession for the transgressor. Look at Isaiah chapter 53, verse 12. That is where it was quoted. Isaiah 53, 12. He was numbered with the transgressors, and he bear the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. The second word of the cross was, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. Luke chapter 23, verse 43. It is probable that the dying thief expected that his prayer would soon be answered. The other one was smoking him. Why don't you deliver us and deliver yourself. And then I said, ah, ah, then so I can die. She can't wash it. I said, no, it's not. And God said, you got to do something. Do back or pay me with that. Let me. We shall be together in paradise. <laughs> because this man has been listening to scriptures. He had been with the Lord to him. He knew that there will be eternity, there will be eternal life, there will be uh, cartoon, of me, paradise. And this is all said from God to Son You know, you are going to be with me in Christ. So, and let's say, when you have to Jesus, even the day before his death. God will wipe out your, 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 your sins. Amen, somebody. Amen. Number three. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Matthew 27, verse 46. We are read today. The words were taken from Psalm 22, verse 1. Open to Psalm 22, verse 1. Read from the, from the scripture. 22, verse 1. Yes. God, my God. My God, my God. Why have you abandoned me? Why have you abandoned me? Why are you so far away when I go for help? Exactly. Why are you so far from helping me? Yes. Every day I call to you. Okay, so we'll tell you for safety. This expression is one denoting intense suffering. And so but you really are going to David too said it. And David was a man after. So who told you because you know Christ will be here? He will be here Hallelujah. And don't feel forsaken because he has not forsaken you. He's going to come to your rescue. Hallelujah, somebody. So, this expression is one denoting intense suffering. It has been difficult to understand in one sense he was forsaken by God. But it is certain that God approved his work. I mean, God approved his work. It is certain that Jesus was innocent. He had done nothing to forfeit the favor of God. As his own son, holy, harmless, undefined, and obedient. God could not have forsaken him. So, a person suffering thus might address God as if he was forsaken due to his great bodily sufferings on the cross. So, what should you leave at the mercy of these rascals? You know, he was not revived by his enemies. They were mocking him. 
if you compare these passages, Isaiah 53 verse 10. Isaiah 53, read for your Bible, Isaiah 53 verse 10. Tell it, but far. I have already told you that. Is that that God approves it or he allows it? Read Isaiah 50 verse. It has been predicted before you came. Yes? But it was the Lord's will. So it is the Lord's will. Many people can tell you, command me, Shell, or there's a problem. Oh, my don't share now. Oh, what shall I share with you? Or if you don't show up, whoa, whoa, where? It is God's will. For love for your patient. Although they read me, why me? We are questioning your work. Fair by your group. Go to have it on the of To crush him with pain. It is God's will to crush him with pain. Yes. By making his life a reparation offering. Yes. He shall see his offspring, shall lend him his days. Mm -hmm. And the Lord's will shall be accomplished through him. The Lord's will shall be accomplished through him. Most of our modern brothers who are talking about Jehovah, about one day, about just saying, I'm telling you the truth. Yes, my close up. It was the Lord's good plan. It was the Lord's good plan to bruise him. I'm feeling with grief. I'm feeling with grief. However, However, when his soul has been made an offering for sin, yes. then he shall have a multitude of children. Many years he shall live again, and God's plan shall prosper in his heart. So, whatever you are going to thank God for it, Origel, Origel, it is part of his plan. Don't condemn yourself. It is his way. It's part of the burden. Put them out to Okay, let me talk to you. He has many children. After the song. Praise the Lord. Somebody. Yes. 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 Is it nothing to you? Is it nothing to you? Is it nothing to you? Behold, and see if there be any sorrow like unto my soul. Oh, no, I need to put you. Is it nothing to you? 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 Is it nothing Yes. Where will the Lord have afflicted me? Where will the Lord have afflicted me? In the day of his fierce anger. Oh, yes. Oh, this is a righteous man. Look, so if you see somebody suffering, I share you, might they call them Ben Hidileno? I share you. What they must share now by you? If you hear your name, when he was putting the sister, one of the eunuchs, how to go and tell the king, what about you? But look, not for that day, can't forget, can't forget. I mean, but when oh, the cousin way, can't forget from my hand. You will never die in that trouble. It's temporary. It's a passing phase. Put that down. Number four, the first word Jesus said, "Holy woman, behold thy son, behold thy mother." John chapter nineteen, verses twenty-six to twenty-seven. John chapter nineteen, verses twenty-six. So 27. Okay. When Jesus therefore saw his mother. When Jesus therefore saw his mother. And the disciples standing by. <laughs> whom he you know, loved, our calling of our Lord, you know, Pastor opened his Bible. He now put his phone there. No, you call ya. I mean, any Express on that. Praise the Lord. Oh, no, I you are not being born. The Lord is good. I'm not going to say, I'm Am I gonna say? When Jesus therefore saw his mother, when Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciples standing by, Benny, whom he loved, whom he loved, his disciple he loved, he, he, said, he, said, unto mother, he said unto his mother, woman, woman behold thy son. Then said he to his disciple, behold thy mother. And from that hour, mm. that disciple took. 
uh, unto, uh, unto his own home. Then, this is the disciple whom Jesus loved, John the Revelator, and the writer of this particular gospel that was just read. He wrote the gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, Woman, behold thy son. This is a remarkable expression and has been much misunderstood. Some said, Jesus should have addressed Mary as mother, not just woman. She's not another woman. She gave birth to him. And not to be referred to as a woman. I want to tell you that it conveys no idea of disrespect. Get that into your skull. Nor of unconcern. As has been commonly supposed. People thought it was disrespectful. In the way of compilation, man and woman were titles hmm, of as much respect among the Hebrews as sir and madame. In the Hebrew language, mama, iya, obri, it's like man, madame. Are you following me? Sir. That is respectful too. Madame. It's respectful. Only the Mary John. Are you following me? Sir. Are you following me? Now, but why does Jesus not call her mother? Probably because he wished to spare her feelings. To read to one fiat as twenty six, or pay a mark more. Yaw, my young man, Tom Kulo. So, Kofel, Kif, Kofelo, I want statements to my Jackie or Kawuma. No women have tender hearts than men. <laughs> so, the very sound of which must have wrung her heart if he had said mother with additional sorrow. He doesn't want that. So, on this account, he says, Woman, behold thy son. This was the language of pure natural affection. What Jesus is saying here is proof of his being the Messiah by distinctly marking how everything related to the Messiah, which had been written the prophets, had its complete fulfillment in him. The sixth word on the cross, Father, Unto thy hand I commend my spirit, or I deposit my soul in your hands. That is positive confession. Another proof of the immateriality of the soul and of its separate existence when the body is dead. for the last time. So we should get to see about what love. I don't like it, I'm going to die one day. Then the last one, it is finished. John chapter 19, verse 30. It means I have executed the great designs of the Almighty. I have satisfied the demands of his justice. I have accomplished all that was written the prophets and suffered the utmost malice of my enemies. And now the way to the holy of holies is made manifest through my blood. An awful, yet a glorious finish. Lord God, Jesus, 
This is a very glorious finish. Through this tragic death, God is reconciled back to man. <laughs> and the kingdom of heaven is open to every believing soul. So, the whole scenario is captured in Revelation chapter 5, verses 9 and 10. Revelation chapter 5, verses 9 and 10. Only, and the song in this song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And has made unto us, or made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Hallelujah. So what happened after the cross was most important to our faith. The whole essence of this day, the reason why this day is truly a good Friday, is captured in this verse. Revelation chapter 5, verse 9, it's only verse 10, only, and has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall be on the earth. Are you truly reading? This is what sin can cause in the Christian life. But you have a lifeline. This morning, we are going to confess our sins. Please rise on your feet. Say after me, Jesus has paid the price. Jesus has, paid the price. Jesus has made all the sacrifices. And rituals, I ought to make. The prince was crucified on the cross. His blood shed for all my sins. There is therefore no need for sacrifice of goat or lamb anymore. I know the great king who sits in great light, surrounded with cloud of heaven and thick darkness under his feet. I know the great God who created all the best on earth. Through him and in him were all things created and made as one. I know him who sits on the circles of the earth and all those under him are like grasshoppers. I know him who is called the light, of the, the light of the world. He shines in the darkness, in the darkness. and the darkness, the darkness compared to the Lord. The world, the world descended, from descended from heaven and he became man. He, became man. he ate, he ate and, drank, and drank and walked on the sea and, the sea. and commanded the storm, and, the storm and, the and the wind. He put death, he put death and, sickness and sickness in bondage. In bondage. Yet, Yes. The world had no any place, no material possession. He died and rose again. He is alive forevermore. I know who is called the world. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the custodian of all might and power. The firstborn among the dead, the, among the, dead. the, prince, of peace. the prince of peace, the everlasting God, the everlasting God. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He are the word of God, the word of God. you are clean spirits. Spirit. The earth is the Lord, the is the Lord. and the fullness and thereof. The, the world, and they that dwell behind him. For he had founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. So you have no power over me and mine. It is, him it is him who laid the foundation of the earth, that it shall be removed forever. 
He is the real God of the land. And not Satan and his demon or any of these spirits. He is the beginning and the end. The Alpha and Omega. Who was, who is, and who is to come. He was dead and is alive forevermore. He is the one with the way saw. He has eyes like a red coal of fire. He is the firstborn of the living God, the morning star. Therefore, God has highly exalted me and give me a name which is above all names. The name of Jesus, every name must bow of things that are in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God, the Father. Glory be to God on high, the fourth man in the fairy families, the Prince of Peace, he is a king and a prince as well. He has paid the price for my salvation. Therefore, no more sacrifice or ritual. Amen. We are not going to pray to God to keep his eyes on you and all yours and protect you from all impending troubles that will befall this country. Pray in the name of Jesus. I'm glad see you. And I put this in so that you don't come tomorrow. Tell God, we sit with you and you couldn't do it. God, high will be on me. He will be on my children. His eyes will be on my household. His eyes will be on everything that God has given me. And He will protect you from all impending troubles that will befall this country. 